Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. What's going on, guys? For our second gameplay of the day, we are actually going to be doing a dual gameplay. Um, we're going to be looking at the brand new Ghost of Madden future Trevor Lawrence and the brand new Ghost of Madden future Najee Harris. And if you did miss my earlier gameplay, the Vernon Davis gameplay, I will leave a card for that video in the top right. And if you missed any of my uploads yesterday, the uh, Tim Tebow, um, Devontae Adams, Adrian Peterson, and out of position wide receiver Deion Sanders gameplay, um, all those videos are already up on the channel. So if you want to see any of those cards um, and how they play, I mean, all those gameplays are already up. But before we hop into it, about half of you guys who watch the videos are actually not subscribed. So if you right now watching this is not subscribed with notifications on, make sure you go ahead and do so so you don't miss a single gameplay, a single tier list, or a single upload. Okay, so I've never actually done a running back and a quarterback gameplay in the same video, but hey, today's a first. We're going to go ahead and try it out. Both cards are future cards. It just kind of feels right. However, though, if you did click on this video for Trevor Lawrence, this gameplay is going to be a lot more Najee Harris heavy because I feel like Najee is just way better as a running back than Trevor Lawrence is as a quarterback. I'm going to go over both the cards, so don't worry. And I'm still going to use Trevor Lawrence, obviously. But Trevor Lawrence has a lot of holes. The first one is his throw under pressure. It does not get the 90, a very important stat right here. So, yeah, 87 throw under pressure, definitely one hole. Hole number two does not hit that 90 deep accuracy threshold, which also does suck. Hole number three does not get high round master. Um, has good speed, so the card can roll out, but only does get set feet, which is hole number four. Um, does not get pass lead, so only set feet for Trevor Lawrence. And I'm probably I'm probably going to use pass lead and like inside dead eye or whatever. I'm probably going to do that. So maybe we'll try long range dead eye too, because yeah, why not? Wait, he only has two ability slots? Wait. Only two ability. Wait, no, that 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 can't be right. That just can't be right. And uh, by the way, for his release as well, he does have the traditional four release, which if we look right here, um, traditional four is literally slower than Tebow's release. So, yeah, uh, yeah, right here is the Aaron Rodgers release. Right here is the Marino release. You know, the Favre release. And then right here, what was tr traditional four? Yeah, yeah, that that's one of the slow releases in the game right now. So. A lot going against Trevor Lawrence, but um, don't worry, we still have Najee Harris, who if you are a budget, no money spent guy, this card's going for under 100k, as you guys can see right here, 93 speed, 92 acceleration, can make people miss, can catch passes very well, can, can truck, can stiff arm, has good carry, and also is 6'2", 230 power back, so a really well-rounded halfback that if you're a budget, no money spent team, this should be your running back, you should be trying to save up for this card, or I believe you can actually play solos for him. I'm not sure if it is a fantasy pack or not, but it, maybe you have to get lucky. I don't really know. But Najee Harris, I think right now is, is the best budget back in the game. Um, I mean, you guys see the stats on this card. And, and then that price tag is also very nice. And today, I'm probably just going to rock with Bulldozer on him. Um, I mean, that makes the most sense. And I guess he only does have two ability slots because, yeah, Trevor only had two. And I wonder if I go to his power up if, um, if he still only has two. Okay, so if you power him up, you actually, yeah, okay, wow. If you do power up Najee Harris, he actually can get tank, which is a pretty solid ability. It is 3 AP. You also could get Bruiser, which I think definitely does make the card powering up worth it. I think he also does get Leapfrog as well. So powering up Najee could be worth it. His power up right now is a little bit expensive because this is his first card that can be powered up. So over time, this will fall. But I still think that even when the card isn't powered up um, and, and has 94 base speed, I still think he's really good. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I think he also did add Leapfrog as well. So no, 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 he actually did it. So he already had Leapfrog. But still, I still think powering up this card is worth it. Maybe not right away if you are budget no money spent. But yeah, being able to get Bruiser is definitely a nice ability. And then for Lawrence, um, powered up. Let's see if he gets any new abilities. I don't think he does. Um, does get pass lead. Ooh, I might. Have to, I, I actually might try to power up Trevor Lawrence today. Is it worth it? Yeah, I'm gonna try powering. Up. I'm gonna power up Trevor Lawrence today. I'm gonna power him up for you guys. Um, I do think that pass lead is way better than um th th than set feed, especially when you have a 94 throw. I mean, a 94 throw in the run, a 95 throw in the run. So I definitely got to try that out today. So I'm gonna power up Trevor Lawrence. I'm not gonna power up Najee Harris. Let's hop into the game. All right, here we go. We got game number one with Trevor Lawrence and Najee Harris. There's my opponent's top three. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, my top three a little bit better, and he thought he felt the same way. So um, one and zero so far here with Trevor Lawrence and Najee. All right, here we go. We're facing my man, J235, and he looks to have a bot team. 
No, he's not a bot. He's actually a... That's not... That's Eagle Steam Team. Eagle Steam Teamer. Oh, he's going have a bot name. That's not a bot. That is a real man. So let's see what J235726 can do. And is he JMS? Wait. He's got the JMS abbreviation. This might just be a coincidence. I'll be honest. I don't know. I, I don't know. I... I don't know, but we're starting off on offense here, and I did switch up the abilities on Trevor Lawrence, so instead of going with pass lead, I did go with fearless and set feet. I feel like having fearless is going to help cover up that low throw under pressure threshold, so we're rocking with, yes, we're going to be rocking with uh, fearless and pass lead, and then on Najee, I was able to put bruiser on him, so yeah, we do have bruiser on Najee, which does mean more powerful truck and more powerful stiff arms, so both guys are looking pretty good right now. And Trevor Lawrence is powered up, by the way. Najee Harris is not. So Najee can get much better if you put him on a team team and stuff. Here's the run. Cut up. Oh, go get over him. That a boy, Najee. Najee putting, who's that? Ray Lewis on his back? That's no slouch, man. Right, here we go. We're going to go to the signature play. I don't like the amount of movement I'm seeing from uh, Ray Lou, but it, it's happening. We should get Najee open here. Get off me. Oh, wow. What a warp right there by, by TJ Watt flying like a, flying like he's a madman, dude. Holy inside stuffs he does but i'm not afraid of him oh my maybe i should be dude vince will for is ridiculous bro call hike okay i almost do a pass oh my i was hitting that thing so much oh look at the shed get out oh my trevor lawrence's release is so slow but Devonte, maybe oh that might that's a laser from trevor the range is definitely good on trevor lawrence touchdown um next drive i will run the ball a lot more don't worry and for the people who are here to see Najee, i'm gonna run the ball a lot more next drive um did see trevor's short release and his deep release right there I mean, good velocity um whenever his feet are set if you're running this ability it's gonna work pretty well um if you, if you like throwing on the run a lot more i'd probably go with pass lead and he has good he, he does have a really good throw on the run at 95 when he's powered up which is definitely nice so um lawrence is he terrible no i think for a card that you're able to get for about 95k probably gonna drop even further than that i think he's actually um not a bad purchase for budget teams because he's, he, he's gonna be pretty consistent he'll, he'll be fairly consistent for you with Ray Lou, we should be sitting very pretty. I mean, oh, he blocked the wrong guy. I should have stepped on it earlier. I should have went for a stiff arm there too. Kind of sold. Kind of sold. Not gonna lie. Kind of sold. Oh. Stay away from. Stay away from Ray. Belly. Oh, yo, yo, Aaron Donald, chill, man. We're just trying to run the ball here, man. What are you doing? I don't even see. I didn't even see Aaron Donald get his shed. I thought I was looking at the second level already. Should get X open sideline, dude. That release is wild. Thankfully, we have Devonte, but <laughs> dude. Dude, that release is something different, man. I'm not sure this strategy is for, like getting back really far than running, but it, I mean, I guess it's kind of working for him. It's kind of scaring me. It's kind of scaring me a little bit. And his run D has been pretty good. He's on wrap. Oh my goodness, he shut. Is this Troy Palomalu on his burner? Guy is nut. Okay, I don't know what. Okay, I, okay. Go, go, Najee. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what was that? Then we're going to wheel Najee. So this should be a pretty good little makeshift screen here. It should be pretty good. Got bodies out in front. One of them is George Kittle, which you don't hate. And there we go. Down the sideline. Good blocks right there too. Touchdown Najee Harris. So right there is the speed from Najee. The pass catching ability. The route running. Um, that was kind of effortless though. But you see that Najee does fall forward. You see the build. You see the speed. You see the change of direction. Um, he does feel very good. And I, I stand by my statement. I think he's the best budget back in the game right now. Best bang for your buck. For under 100k, getting a card like this. It's just kind of ridiculous roll out here he should be sending all those guys off the edge right he should be no he didn't go no, go 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 and that 95 throw on the run oh my i forgot yeah there's that throw in the run animation it wasn't a completion but you you can kind of see without pass lead or gunslinger how lofty footballs can really get in this game which is just crazy sometimes to kind of see like you see how high that ball goes man that is that is wild all right all right let's try to go back to the run let's show up this spin in the juke here for Najee harris like I said, kind of a big body, so it might be hard for this guy to kind of spin, but I think we should be okay. And look at this, look at this dude, bro. Oh, good, decent spin. I mean, it's not bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be, but pretty solid spin for Najee. Pretty slow, but I mean, if you are trying to outspin a safety, I mean, you can definitely do it. I mean, you definitely can. Let's try a little, let's try a little juke here. There's a little juke. Run him over. Okay, no, dude, Najee. Like I said, this guy can kind of do everything. Catch passes, make, make, make people miss, run people over. I've kind of struggled running the ball. He's done a lot better in the past game. But honestly, that's kind of hit or miss. I think he feels good in the open field. I mean, usually I can feel if a running back just feels bad. Um, but I don't think I don't think today's Najee's fault. I mean, this guy's doing a pretty good job at filling holes, doing stuff like that. So um, yeah, I respect it. I respect his run D. 
but I mean, you're gonna see right here. I'm getting, I'm getting him the ball in open space. And you're gonna see a man go crazy right now. You're gonna see a man. Hopefully, be in open space. That's all you can really ask for. There we go. There we go. Get off me. Oh, I'm in the wrong hand. Put in the right hand and stiff arm him, man. Come on, put him on the ground. There we go. Run him over, Nash. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. You're probably tired. I'm gonna go ahead and call a timeout. Um, should get B open. Get there, Trevor. Good, good ball. Hey, that's that fearless, by the way. So if I didn't have fearless right there, um, one even with even with like pass lead, my release is not getting any faster there. So I'm still, I'm still, you know, I'm still gonna feel the pressure. But thankfully, fearless, that's a perfect pass every single time, um, which is really nice. So when there is pressure, you kind of almost want pressure because, um, he definitely will not miss a throw if, if he's under pressure. So let's try to get this going. We're gonna put Kittle on the crosser. Let's try to get Najee open on a little flat here. Najee's open. Oh, he, he fake clicked on me. He really did fake click on. Looks like he is. And Devontae. Oh, almost was a dot. Okay. Wait, Joiner? Oh, that's that Eagles team of the week guy. He just lured Trevor. I want to get one more drive. I didn't like that last drive. I don't like this guy we're playing, to be honest. It's hard to run against him, and it's kind of hard to get my running back involved. I, I don't like this guy. I'm going to be honest. All right, here we go. I'm just going to try running this ball a little bit more here. Uh, if I can break a run, he's got inside stuff, which is also tough to run against, too. So. Kind of a lot going against us, but yeah, I can't. 14 carries for 33 is not very good. Block him. Here we go. Oh, hike. Okay, just that one second, and we should have a dot here. Should have a dot here to Devante. It's been there all day. And spin that, Devante. Spin that back. Oh, I should have waited a little bit, actually. If you look, he had that. All right, let's try finishing this drive with Najee, man. I've actually. I mean, I've given Najee more touches than Trevor, but he hasn't done much with them because this guy is really just playing the run, it feels. It feels like he's playing the run. I don't think he is, but it feels like he is. Let's go, let's go to this again. Did he guess right? He guessed wrong. Go, 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 go. Fight Najee. There we go. We get a Najee Harris touchdown. So, took us four drives, but um, we... Oh, what the... Najee Harris touchdown. Um, didn't do much really running the ball, but you guys saw on the screenplay we had... Um, I feel like the, the COD feels good. He's able to fall forward. Um, just a really nice card. So I'm a fan of both Trevor Lawrence and Najee. I like Najee a little bit more, but both cards are definitely solid. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for both the Trevor Lawrence and the Najee Harris gameplay. And you're probably not watching this video right now if you have a God Squad. But this video really isn't for you. It's for the guys who are budgeting their money spent. And I think both these guys are pretty good options. However, I do like, if, I do like having Hot Route a little bit more. But if you don't need Hot Route... I mean, is Lawrence really better than Kirk? I don't know. I, I think they're both pretty similar in how they play and how consistent they're going to be. I just do like that Kirk has hot route. That's the one thing I like about Kirk. Um, Kirk didn't play that bad for me. Kirk also does have the, the A90 throw under pressure stat, so it really doesn't need Fearless that much. But um, yeah, I actually, I'd probably say I like Kirk more than Trevor Lawrence. I'd probably say that. If you are a budget, no money spent, so you have Kirk right now, whether you have his end cat or whatever. Um, I do like Kirk more than Trevor Lawrence, but I will say that it is pretty close. But Trevor Lawrence, not a bad card. Play better than I thought he was going to. That release is still very slow, but like I said, I kind of expected that. And then as far as Najee goes, I do think he's the best budget back in the game right now. As far as size, versatility, can make people miss, can run people over. Really any play style, you could use Najee pretty well. So, I mean, two W's here on, this, on these cards. There also are some pretty cool um, pretty cool Ghost of Madden Pass cards as well. Um, th 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 This is definitely last year, right? Yeah, these are last year's cards. Okay, so so they're, they are tripping right now. Uh, let me find these ghosts though. Let me find some... Uh, let me show you some of these ghost cards that I like. Okay, so here are all the Ghost of Madden Future. Uh, yeah, Ghost of Madden Future cards right here. And there aren't many that I like. I do like the offensive linemen. Like they're not bad options. They all hit, you know, Panay Sewell does hit um all the 90s here, which is definitely nice. Um, Greg Newsom, I really like though. 94 speed, 92 overall corner. Um, does hit, unfortunately does not get to that 90 press, but good zone. I mean, and good man. Like that's pretty solid. Play right, not, not the greatest, but you kind of want this card just for the speed, which is really nice. And... Um, outside of that, I mean, Daryl Henderson's pretty solid. Like I said, the offensive linemen are pretty good because they have all 90 stats like that. Um, yeah, Trevor Lawrence is here. What's Keith Taylor? Is he a corner? Yeah, 93 speed corner, 91 press too. So um, a lot of these future cards are pretty good for the budget team. So yeah, if you can get your hands on any of these guys, if you're like a budget, no money spent team, I'd say that's definitely a W. So yeah, um, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.